I'm Suzanne O'Callaghan, and I'm a Canadian painter, and I live in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. I'm a self-taught painter, even though I teach painting now. Draw, 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 draw. Draw all the time. Um, anything that you draw, when I'm traveling, I don't take photographs as much as I draw in little sketchbooks because anything you draw is engraved in your memory, like an etching. Even abstract painters will tell you, you need to learn to draw. And not to be afraid. This is my home, but it's also where I work. I choose that because it allows me to work longer hours and, and to live with pieces. I'm intrigued and inspired by space and tonality and light and color and texture and beauty. And because I mainly do portrait or figurative work, I'm intrigued by people. It is your job, it is your work. And also to that end, I'm extremely disciplined. I get up really early in the morning and I run <laughs> to clear my head from whatever nonsense I heard the night or day before. And by nine o'clock every day, I am painting and I paint for sure eight to 10 hours a day. And I don't miss days, and sometimes I do that seven days a week. And the other thing is, is that it's a business, and um, it's appropriate that people learn to feel comfortable with the fact that we all need to survive financially, and um, there's nothing shameful about marketing yourself or being a little bit aggressive about putting your name and, and your work in, in public spaces. And um, sometimes that may be your skill set, and sometimes it's not. And if it's not, then it's important to find people and have those people in your life who are able to do that. I also encourage people to, to allow themselves to be mentored, to look for mentors. Um, even though I'm self-taught, there are artists who had a tremendous impact on my life uh, and, and my work. If you were interested in, in, a, in a career or, or, and, uh, and post-secondary study, in Canada, there are three schools that I really like right now, and one is Emily Carr, and one is NASCAD, here closer to home, and, and the Ontario College of Art, where I did study some design. Most of the pieces I do, I start and finish in one sitting. I don't stop painting until I'm done. So because of that, that's another reason uh, I live and work in, in the same space, because I will work into the night sometimes if, if I haven't got there yet. Love, first off. Um, I have it on my front door. Love. Doing what I love in, as opposed to what I was maybe just good at or clever enough to master completely changed my life. 